Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am so excited to share with you some options for something that has been pretty problematic for me over the last few years. That is how best to take my crafting with me on the go. My job requires me to travel more and more now in the last uh, couple years. And so whether that's for a work trip or even just a crop, I have found that I have issues with how to best store and travel with those items. So in this video, I found a few solutions for these problems and these issues, and I'm sharing them. And hopefully through me doing that, you can find some uses for them also, or maybe spark some thought for how best you can store your stuff as a crafter on the go. So let's get started. All right, let's talk storage. So one thing I noticed on my journeys is that I never know how much or what what products to put into what container. So I'm going to show some options that I found that I'm like so excited about. Okay, so here I have this bag right here. This says 120 colors. So I suppose you can fit 120 markers in here. I'm going to open this up. And I have fit 72 plus 72, public math, 144, I think so. 144 markers, so I raise you your 120. I have my brush nib from Ohuhu markers over here, and I have my skin and gray tones from Arteza over here, and they fit magically. So this is enough for me to travel with if I wanted to take this grouping of markers. There are also other things you can put in here. You can take out these purple inserts right here. So here we have the markers and they're in there snug enough that I can just pull them out if I wanted to put them on the side of my desk. That's an option as well. But I just wanted to show you that these purple things are inserts. They're not permanent. And so you can actually make even larger here. I like the inside is not that it's not fabric because if anything happens with the markers and they leak, it's not going to bleed through. It's a um, like an aluminum type plastic in there aluminum looking plastic. <laughs> I don't think aluminum can be plastic. So that is this little bag here and I'm going to carry my markers in it, but you can carry whatever you want in there. It's a really nice size. And it also comes with a strap too, if you wanted to um, maybe bring this as part of your carry-on while you're on the plane or train or automobile. Okay, the next two are like, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here if I can because they're pretty big. Okay, I think that's better. So um, this is a beautiful, I love the pattern, that's why I chose this one. But I saw this and this is a storage container as well. Um, and look at this, look at all of these, let me show you these compartments. Now, full transparency, I saw this being um, advertised for makeup and... Just like we stole the makeup brushes for blending, I'm gonna steal your storage too. This first one right here, um, this looks like it's not the rough part of the Velcro, but I'm not quite sure what you would put up there, if that probably is for something makeup. They even put in a little mirror. I like to know what I look like when I'm crafting. Oh, here we go. Look at this. You have your little Velcro mirror right here. Boom, okay. Not really necessary for crafting. However, this little pocket right here, I already know what would fit absolutely stunningly perfect in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that right in. And the great thing about this is it's padded, so it's going to protect my Mini Misty. And guess what? If you are not a Mini Misty kind of crafter and you are a Tim Holtz travel platform kind of crafter, um, that fits in there too. So I have this right here. And again, I feel like it's padded enough to kind of keep it protected, or you can put something even softer on top. Maybe this little bag here that I just took out. <laughs> but this is the top portion of this uh, bag right here. When we open it up, we have some really cool attributes here. Let's look at the top first. So right here we have pockets, and these are defined pockets, and this is all plastic. Now that is intended for makeup brushes because um, makeup brushes have makeup on them. So it would get, they'll get inky, which is kind of nice because I'm going to put my little makeup brushes in there, mine that I use for crafting, for ink blending, and they're going to be able to fit in here. I can fit multiples. So I'm going to show you this bag filled up at the end. 
Um, so yeah, so you have this portion right here, it closes with Velcro, and then you have another little pocket right behind here to place some things. It comes with the strap as well, and these really sturdy, repositionable grids here. I love how many options. This is not just one rectangle and done. You could make so many different shapes with this. This is perfect for an ink size pad right here. Um, I'm, I can place that in there, and if I still think that it is a little bit um, too loose, I can just stockpile some things in there as well. So we have smaller. I can take this out because they come right out. They slide out. There's a groove here that goes in. Very thick, very, very sturdy, um, and if I thought, thought that this one was too loose, well, I can't fit that in there. Don't try that. How about over here? Yeah, that one fits a lot tighter. So if I don't want my ink pads sloshing around, then you can find the perfect fit. You can reconfigure this any way you want. Okay, so that is cool. So this is the bag, um, the smaller version. <laughs> yes, I said smaller version because this is the mama version. All right, so this is the same idea. It comes with a... Um, strap as well but it also comes with this right here because yes crafting is that serious it needs to go <laughs> as a carry-on and you can put it on top of your suitcase you know the the handles love this it comes with um your little doohickeys here to hold your strap and we are going to do the same exact thing and look at the top first this bag is just incredible so we have some slots here we can put some things and then we have this area here which is uh, zippered and all of this is very padded. This is a uh, really thick padding so we can place even some clipboards or things like that in here uh, whatever we're going to need. And then when we open it up we have the same configuration only larger. So we have two layers now where we can put things um, pens, scissors, pencils. Well you don't want scissors if you're carrying it on. Side note, you'll lose your scissors. Um, so we can put anything that we want in here as well as our little pocket in the back. So my goodness, this holds it all. And then when we go over to the main compartment, we have the same exact situation here where we can reconfigure sizes to fit our needs. And it's the same exact sturdy type of inserts and pieces. So it's very, I'm very impressed with this bag. I think this is the finally the thing I've been looking for when it comes to packing to travel. So let's see this entire thing filled up. Of course, your stuff is going to be different than mine, but this is what I was able to fit. So I like putting my microfiber cloth right there at the top to kind of add some protection. I have some foam tape there. I have my mini misty and I do have an extra uh, surface that I can use painting on. So have that in there as well. And then when I open up the sides here, I have on this side, my makeup brushes, my bone folder. Behind here, I have just a couple tools. I could fit a lot more, but I have a spatula and a palette knife. In the main compartments, I have five Catherine Puller inks and four Distress inks, Distress Oxides. In this compartment, I have three regular size ink pads, a black pigment, a Versamark, and then an alcohol-friendly black. Over here, I have um, an embellishment spray. I have pencils, paintbrushes, all kinds of tools. So I have these tools and my uh, tape runner. I have more embellishments here, some stickles. I have some a bunch of sequins and things I can decorate my cards with. More embellishments, some essentials down here, my sand eraser, my eraser, purple tape. And then I have the full set of the Catherine Pooler color burst in here that fit as well and my adhesive uh, eraser. So that is in the contents of this container right here. So wow, that is a lot of stuff all compartmentalized and placed inside here. Now you'll notice I did remove this piece right here and that was so that I can get some of these longer items in the compartment. So again, you can reconfigure it. So let's see what the big one will hold. Okay, opening up that first compartment, I have, again, not recommended to carry on because you'll lose all your scissors, but 
to check in your bags. Um, I have my three different scissors that I use most often. And I should say, I should preface this by saying this is going to be awesome for my month long trip I have to take soon. Um, so I'm going to be able to take so much with this one compartment. Um, okay, so bone folder, spatula. I have some markers over here that I use uh, for like journaling or for writing text my microfiber cloth to protect what's in here. And then in this bag right here, I have my magnetic cutting mat, which I use a lot for stenciling. I have a cutting, um, a cutting, what is this called? A paper trimmer. Um, because I like the flatness of it and I always like to have a paper trimmer on the go. My scoreboard, which I use all the time, and a wooden clipboard. And so this is going to be just good to have for whatever reason. All right, opening it up, we can see, um, I'm trying to get this whole thing in the picture, but it's very hard. So I'll just show you the best I can. But when we open up this compartment, I have a full set of my ink blending brushes. I was able to fit 20 real brush pens in here as well. Some paint brushes, both regular paint brushes and water brushes. So that's on this side. I didn't put anything in the back here. Oh wait, I did. I put foam tape. <laughs> There's enough space back there. This is actually, I could fit a lot more in here if you can see all that space. Um, on the main compartment, I have 18 Distress Oxide ink pads. I have six Catherine Polar ink pads over here. I have a bunch of clear acrylic blocks. I think there's like six in there, different sizes. I have stickles, Nuvo drops, Nuvo dream drops. Um, I have some, these are tins of sequins. I have embossing powder. I have alcohol inks. I have my main uh, black and Versamark inks that I use over here. This is a compartment full of tools. So everything that I showed you in the last bag and then some is in here. So this is my compartment full of tools. I have my compartment for adhesive. So art glitter glue, some glitter, uh, some actual glitter glue, some Tombow. Here I have some Nuvo paste and some Bow Bunny paste. I have embellishments here, a bunch of sequins, stars, things like that all right here. So this entire compartment could be all the things I need based on what my projects are for my crafting on the go. So this just holds so much. Love this bag. Okay, so maybe you don't need something humongous to um, pack and go. Maybe you're going to a crop and you don't need to bring all of that stuff. Here is an option for something else that you can use. Again, marketed towards toiletries and makeup brushes, or makeup rather, um, I am going to be using for something else. So here is a travel pouch, and it comes with this plastic bit right here, which you can put maybe some things that hold um, ink or that holds, you know, that your paint brushes or things like that. It comes with this little pouch also right here. And then it comes with actual inserts inside your pouch. So you have little pockets of things that you can put in there. So the pictures are showing things that are nice and neat. And this is a great travel bag. I bought two, one for my toiletries and one for my crafting items. So let me show you what I did for this one with my crafting on the go. When you are um, not in use, you're going to cinch it up and then tie up your little uh, tightener here and then you could pull it open and in here I have all of my 150 Prismacolor colored pencils. All right, I don't just have that though because remember I'm crafting on the go so I'm going to need additional things in here. So I haven't even filled up my plastic container or my pouch yet and I have room for that but I have my 150 markers. I have my electric sharpener right here which is battery operated and I have my annual Prismacolor sharpener in here. So I have both of those um, fit nicely inside. And additionally, with my colored pencils, I have um, this right here is my little tool that I use for weeding when I'm doing, using my Cricut. But I love how sharp it is at the bottom because if any of my... Uh, my manual sharpener gets stuck with pencil bits or my electric. I can just dig it out. My electric usually doesn't have that issue. But then I also have my Copic marker here, which is filled with Gamsol. 
and I, this was just an empty Copic and I filled it with Gamsol so it can help me blend. So that's what I'm going to be using this for. Again, you can use this for anything that you want to take on the go. And then I, when I'm done, I can just pack it up and it is all in one nice and neat place. So that is where I'm going to put my pencils. So one of the things I do want to make sure that I'm protecting is my, um, my Misty, my Stampin' Platform. And I don't know if there's a case that you can buy for this, but I am guessing that if there is, it might not be as inexpensive as this item right here, which is a laptop case. And so I got this one right here and the idea here is very padded inside it does have a handle if I need it um, but I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna feel like it's protected when I'm packing up my stuff so that's important to me I also opted for the ones with the pockets in here because this can be sort of like my stamping area right here in this little bag so like um, let's say I want to also bring some acrylic blocks I can put these in here as well and I feel like they'll fit nice and they're somewhat protected because this is padded and so this could be and it doesn't take up that much extra um, depth there so I like that this can be kind of like my catch-all for my stamping um, platform or blocks needs now you can find them less expensive I think this one was around twelve dollars you can find them for seven eight dollars uh, you can go to your local thrift store or Goodwill and pick up a case there as well. You probably can find any kind of tablet holder or uh, laptop holder uh, in those locations as well. So just something to protect your stamp and platforms. I have one more thing to show you for storage. This one, I obviously, it's well loved. I use it all the time for my makeup. And one thing I love about this is you can open it up at this wide and you can lay it out. And so if you wanted to, I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't throw my ink pads in here because I don't want them opening and getting it everywhere. But whatever you choose to put in here, you can lay it out on your surface. And then when you're done, you can just cinch it right up. And I usually just hold these in here, close it up and good to go. This is one of my favorite things. My sister got this for me. I absolutely love it. I want to talk next about bringing projects on the go. That can be daunting, um, but I have found a solution here where very inexpensively I bought a bunch of these different sized uh, meshed plastic bags. And the reason I love, first of all, I love that they're not just mesh. They're actually plastic. They have a plastic coating. So if I were to put something like scissors in there, um, they won't poke through uh, like a mesh would. But I love it because it compartmentalizes everything I need. So if I want to bring embellishment pens, so white gel pens, stardust, sparkle, I can put this just in this one container. And so, you know, that's just an example. But I can go through and kind of see what if I want to just put white cardstock cut to an A2 size, I can put that in here and so on and so forth. If I want to take large sheets with me, we have these two large envelopes as well. And so they're various sizes. I love that I have options to choose from and it doesn't hurt that they're color coded <laughs> and almost in rainbow order. They're not in rainbow order as far as size goes. I will look past that. They are forgiven. Next, I'm going to talk about what I like to do if I'm having a long plane ride, I like to have something with me to work on. I also like things to kind of just be where they need to be. And so this right here is one of the best types of clipboards that I found. Sure, I can bring a regular clipboard and that would be fine too. No issues there. But what's great about this is it could hold my project here on the top. It's a slick surface, so if I wanted to do a little bit of watercoloring on the plane, I could do that um, right here, just as I could on any other slick surface. So that's really nice. I can put some of my projects inside as well, things that I'm working on, because you can only put so much on the top of a clipboard, um, but that's really convenient. I really like that. But then it goes beyond just the top surface as well. Right here, we have the inside surface, and this is a great size. I can put pens in there without any issues whatsoever. It's pretty thick, in fact. I'm holding a very thick pair of scissors in here. If I wanted, to, if I knew what project I was gonna be working on, 
I wanted to pack up everything inside this little thing here, I probably could. And so I'm really looking forward to being able to put some markers back here, just things that I want to use um, and having it all in one. This way, this is pretty much the only thing I'll need to take on the plane with me um, because it will have all the pieces that I am interested in using. So I'm a huge fan of this product here. Let's talk surfaces to work on. Now I'm going to be in a uh, traveling location. So I'm going to be in a hotel setting. And also I'm trying to pack as light as I possibly can. So I have a couple options here and I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons for which to use and when. So the first thing is I have my travel Tim Holtz glass media mat. Now this would be the catch all, the end all be all for all the things because that is what it is in real life. However, it's heavy it's potential to break. I'd have to put it in my checked bag and I'm just not really interested in running that risk. So this is the only reason why this is not going to make it to my travel area. I'm not going to be taking this. I do have a sleeve to protect it. However, I'm just not confident that it's going to stay, <laughs> stay in good shape. Maybe if you're traveling light in various ways and this won't be an issue for you, then use your sleeve, maybe wrap it up in some bubble wrap and you should be good to go. But it is the end all. When I say the end all, I mean it's a slick surface to paint on. You can ink blend on it. It cleans up nicely. You can use um, this right here. You have the background here for watercoloring, distress ink, alcohol inks, not here, alcohol inks. So, I mean, you could do anything and you can heat on it. So there's a lot of just everything. You do everything. But that's the reason why I'm not taking that surface. Okay, so I have some other alternatives here. I could take a baking sheet mat, which is just like the Ranger Craft mat. And this is great because I can roll it up and I could use it for my surface. So I can heat on it. But the problem with these sometimes is that when you unroll them, they don't lay flat right away. So this is a great option though. And I'll probably bring an extra one just in case because they're easy to pack. Another option is going to be just the standard um, backup for the large tonic glass mat. You can do some things on this. It, it rolls up. It's light. Um, but it's I need something for my whole surface. And this is not what I need for my whole surface. This is not big enough. I'm going to be working on a table from the hotel. So I don't want to get it inky or messy. So this one's out for me. Now... Brings me to my number one choice is going to be a silicone mat, but which one? So I have this one from Waffle Me Waffle Flower Media Mat. This that's what this one is, and I have a Fiskars mat. Now, if you can see right here, I have sort of a bend in this Waffle Flower Media Mat. So I like to try to keep this as straight as possible, but I bent it, and it's not that bad. Like once you lay it flat, it's got a rubbery surface on the back. You're good to go. Um, so this is a great option and I think this is definitely if this is what you have you can travel with this I would choose this over any of the other ones. I just showed you so far because of its lightweight You can do all the things on it um, And yeah, I mean it would be really you don't want to put alcohol on this one though because it will stain it But you can do almost all the other things. All right, so that would be an option as well I am going to opt for my Fiskars uh, silicone mat. The reason I'm going to opt for this one, it's a large surface. It's silicone, so I could put ink on it. I could watercolor on it, just like you could with the water media mat. I could um, ink smush. I could do some mirror stamping should the mood strike for mirror stamping. So that's an additional attribute this one has that the other mats, except for the waffle flower ones have. You can do that as well. And when I fold this thing up, I can fold it up as many times as I want. And when I open it back up, it's going to lay flat and there's not gonna be any kinks in it. And it's very small. I can get a small footprint with this one. So this is gonna be my choice to travel with. Next, I'm gonna share just a couple niceties that I'm really excited about. Because when I'm at home and I'm in my gym area, things are a lot easier. I can put my phone and, you know, anywhere I want. But when I'm on the road and when I'm running outside, obviously, I like to have a really nice bag. This one is new for me. I had a really cheap one before. Um, this one wasn't that much, but you can find cheaper ones than this. However, I love how thick this pocket is and how easy it is to put in my phone. Very excited about that. And you can still use it um, through the, the surface here. 
Okay, so I borrowed my daughter's phone. By the way, how cute is that? Shaker glitter background. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna put this, uh, show you in here how great this is, and then once it's zipped up, now my phone's even bigger and it fits perfectly, um, so you can touch screen it, but uh, it's really cool. You can see very, very easy. Anyway, that works very nicely, and I can put you know, my ID or credit cards in the back, money. It's just a lot of space, because the one I have right now is screaming for space. And so this is one thing that I treated myself with for my trip. It also has these two pockets here, an adjustable strap uh, that's elastic. Um, but I like these pockets. This is a kind of a weird thing to have in here. Um, it doesn't fit a water bottle. I wouldn't put my key there. I guess you could, but I wouldn't trust it. Um, but I would put my um, like re-energizer if I'm going for a long run. I could put that in there, which is really cool and convenient. Okay, so that's just a nicety for me. Another nicety that I got for my trip is this travel blanket. Comfort you can trust. Um, but anyway, this is great. It's got a strap if I want to put it on the back of a seat for lumbar support, which I definitely need. But it's an actual blanket. And so when you open it up, if I'm on the plane, I can use it as a pillow for my head or I can open it and use it as a full on blanket. So it has this piece here that's like the case. And then you have this beautiful, soft, it feels as soft as it looks. I will tell you that much. Uh, but this is perfect. This is just what I need for a long plane ride. Um, and also sometimes you just need this when you're sitting there binge watching TV on the, on the bed in the hotel. And you don't want to get under the covers. Yeah, so it's absolutely perfect. I love it. It's um, definitely a nicety, nice thing to have. Also, you can make an even fatter pillow if you don't know how to refold your blanket to go back into its little knapsack because this is absolutely not what it looked like when I opened it. This is a much fatter pillow, but I'm, I'm digging this one as well. So there we go. So that is my travel blanket. And I think that I trust this comfort. Okay, next thing is, this is something I picked up because has really little to do with traveling and as far as packing and comfort, but I will tell you that it is super cool. So this is a scratch off mat, map. And basically whenever I go someplace, I can scratch off where I've been, which is kind of in the same theme of what we're doing here today, right? So it comes in this underwhelming, boring um, copper color. I don't think I'm making it to Russia anytime soon, which is like the largest <laughs> area on here. But anyway, so you can go on here and it even has Canada broken down into provinces. It has the states. Oh, this is so cute. So I'm gonna have a great time scratching this off here you can even scratch off the flags down here which i think is so fun and i was captivated by the colors of the scratch off map because it's just fun and then when i've seen the world i can hang it up and i can know that i've gone places there's definitely going to be some bronze left on that map unfortunately okay here is just the united states which I think is so fun. I can't wait to actually sit down and think about where I've been because I assure you, I think I've been a lot more places than I actually have. Also, are we counting drive through or are we counting like stayed the night? Because that might be up for debate. I may have gone to all these states. Anyway, okay, that is that. What's in this little bag? I have no idea. Probably my tools. Yeah, I have my tool. Oh, there's more tools in here. What is in here? Oh, little pins too. That's fun. And you can put, oh, look, they have like little, um, you can put little, would you go skiing, drive through, cruise, graduate, people. There's all kinds of people here. These people look like they're falling in love. Um, sailing, snorkeling, all oh, this is cute. And they give you multiples. So you can put them on your little flags as little memory joggers. That's just about adorable. And then here's my little scratcher tool. It's pretty sharp. All right, so that is my scratch off mat. I'm very excited about, again, total extra and really didn't have much to do with packing. 
when I'm on the road, especially for my upcoming trip that's going to be a month long, I still like to stay connected and do my YouTubing and my video recording when I can. But the Archon that I am recording on right now is far too heavy for me to take on the road. It just is. So I purchased this here, Gooseneck. And this is going to be an adjustable phone holder that you can clip onto any desk. I had to get the long neck because I often find in hotels that I need that extra surface, that extra length to make my phone go up over my project. So right here on the end, what you'll do is this will loosen up and you can make it as thick as you need it for the desk that you're working on, which is brilliant because there have been times when I could not connect my squeezy one to the surface because of that reason it was too small. So you can make it wide and then once you set it on your desk, you're going to just tighten it up by bringing this down. Okay, so that's the tightener area. And then right here in this area, you can twist the neck. You can obviously twist the extension here. They say to coil it for the most stability. So that will have to be checked out for sure. So right here to add my phone, I'm just gonna open it like this. It's got that rubber band in there and I'm gonna hold it and that is super sturdy. So that's way better than the thing I have right now. I have one that is just not nearly as sturdy. This business right here on the bottom won't work because it's too thin. So yeah, this is really great. The reviews seem to be overwhelmingly good. Oh so yeah, so this is gonna help me stay connected, uh, maybe do some lives do some recording while I'm there because I'm going to be in a pretty rigorous class for a month. So I'm going to need the break and that will help me do that. So that's the last product to be shown for this video. I hope this was helpful in that obviously not everyone needs every single one of these products, but maybe something along the way sparked your thought process of things you might already have in your stash or things you can find alternatives for when you're trying to figure out how to pack on the go. If there was something in the video that did interest you, that'll all be linked in the description box below. So you can have a closer look by clicking those links. As always, I'm available in the comment section, so go ahead and hit me up there if you have any questions at all. If you have time, share with us some of your best ways to pack your craft products on the go, because I love in the comment section when we share, we learn so much more from each other. Until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.